Now this is a three-part series. This is part one of a three-part series of my little mini vacation down in Borrego Springs, California. Now, I made reservations in Borrego Springs. It's uh, in the desert about 90 or 95 miles east of San Diego. But from my house, it's only about 55 miles or so, so not very far. Now, the drive winds through the mountains and out of the desert. It's a beautiful drive. Now I splurged a little bit and got a really nice place. Had all of the amenities, the pool, the jacuzzi, the jacuzzi was a big deal for me. And being the middle of the week, there was no crowd. I basically had the place to myself. As you can see, the place is pretty empty. Now coming through the mountains, there was just a little bit of drizzle, so I made sure and put plastic on the important parts of the bike. Now my e-bike, I consider part of the family, so I treat it just how I like to be treated, and it comes inside to live. Even though I arrived in the afternoon, I was pretty anxious to get a ride in that evening. So as soon as I unloaded, I hit the road. So being the middle of the week, there was very little traffic on the roads. But even if there was, the bike lanes down here in Borrego Springs are very, very wide and open. Now one of the main attractions, at least for me, was to check out the desert sculptures. And the first set of sculptures was only about seven and a half miles from the place I was staying. And this is in the desert, so it's pretty flat. Even though the sculptures are on dirt roads, the roads are pretty well packed, so it's an easy ride. There's some soft spots, but pretty much a nice packed road. Now these sculptures are very, very detailed and they're huge. When I first started on the ride, I only figured I was gonna be gone for a couple of hours. So I was in short sleeves, short pants, didn't really worry about it too much. But I was having so much dang fun out there, I lost track of the time. And when I started heading back, it was starting to get dark. Also, I didn't bring any really good lighting. I had marker lights, you know, the red blinking tail lights and a little flashing headlight but nothing to really see by. So as I got darker, I couldn't see the way home. It kept getting darker and darker and colder and colder. And it got so dark, I missed my turn off. And I ended up on this ride doing 35 miles. Now you remember it was only seven and a half miles to the sculpture. Man, I was out there in the desert and I got lost. 
Now, in the next video, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about my nighttime adventure getting lost in the desert. <laughs>